Hello students, welcome once again to this channel and um, we have a question on series and sequence and we have to find a formula for the general term a n of the sequence. So we have the first one. So let's look at the first one. Okay, so we have this term over here, half, one fourth, one eighth and one sixteenth. So um, we have to find the general term for this sequence. Now, to find the general term for a sequence, you have to determine whether it is a linear sequence or a geometric sequence. And to determine whether it's a linear sequence or a geometric sequence, you have to find the common ratio or the common difference. Depending on the common difference or the common ratio, then you can determine whether it is a linear sequence or the, a geometric sequence. So let's look at the first one. Now, if you look at the first one, realize that it is a geometric sequence so i'll say it is a gp so a geometry sequence because if you look at the terms over here to find a common ratio the common ratio is given by r so to find a common ratio it is the second term divided by the first term and if you do for the other terms like the third term divided by the second term they should be equal so we have for the first one we have the first term the second term here is one fourth so one fourth divided by one second so it is just two over one then over here it is one third one third is one eight so one eight divided by one second which is times four over one so realize that two goes into self goes here two times four goes into self one goes here two times so realize that both is half and i'm left with half here so you can see that i have half and half so therefore it is a geometric sequence so since it is a geometric sequence the general formula is given by a n equal to a r exponent n minus one where a is the first term so our first term here from the question we have our first term here as half so our first term here is half then our common ratio is also half so let's insert it into the equation so we have half here then we have our common ratio being another half then we have um our n minus one so realize that we have one here so since the bases are the same you add the exponent so quickly i have um, half this then i have n minus one then this one carrying exponent of one plus one being equal to half then i have n so we have therefore our a n equals half over two four and being equal to one two three four then you go on so basically and this is how to find the general formula you have to determine whether it is a geometric sequence or a linear sequence okay so let's move on all right so for the b parts so we have the b part which is um th this so we have 2 7 12 and 17 so looking at the sequence over here you realize that it is a linear sequence it is a linear sequence because the common difference is is the same that's for the so we have the common difference d is just a2 minus a1 and it should be the same for a3 minus a2 so we have a2 a2 is 7 and a1 which is the first term 2 then we have a3 is 12 minus a2 a2 is 7 so you realize that I have 5 here being equal to 12 minus 7 is also 5. Yeah, so therefore it is a linear sequence. Now to find the, the formula for the, this sequence, um, the general term is given by, the general equation is given by n here, then we have, um, sorry, a, n minus 1, then we have d a, where a is our first term. So you realize that our first term here is, yes, our first term here is 2. So you have the first term here as 2 plus the n minus 1. Then our common difference here is 5. It's 5. Okay. So let's have 2 plus 5 multiplies and 5 n minus 5. Then I'll have 2 minus 5 plus 5 n, which is equal to minus 3 plus 5 n. 
therefore I have um, a n here being 5 n minus 3 as my formula so we have a n equals 5 minus 3 4 n equals 1 2 3 4 5 then it goes on like that so you can try put inserting the number so you can start, try inserting one year to see whether you get two you can put two year to see whether you get seven you can put three year then it goes on and goes on okay now we have the okay so let's do the c part so in our question we have c here now with the c looking at the sequence it is neither a geometric sequence nor a, a linear sequence because for geometric for geometric sequence you know that the common ratio is should just give me um a2 over a1 should be equal to a3 minus a2 so if you look at um a a2 is one fourth then our a a1 is half so it is just two over one then our a3 here is one seat so we have um one seat here multiplying um a2 is that so we have four over one so realize that two goes to seven one goes here then i have one second then i have two goes here two and goes here three so i have two over three so realize that one over two is not equal to two over three so therefore it is not a geometric sequence then look let's look at the linear sequence so for the linear sequence realize that the common difference should give a2 minus a1 should be equal to a3 minus a2 so we have um a2 as um so we have a2 as one fourth minus a1 one second then we have um being equal to a3 is one seat then we have a2 as one fourth so so when i do this i should get negative one over four then when i do this i get negative one over twelve so realize that they are not also equal so geometric sequence the common ratio is not equal then the linear sequence no is also not equal so looking at the sequence looking at the sequence okay looking at the sequence realize that looking at the uh, the numerator is just one two out so realize that the numerator the numerator the numerator has one two out so throughout the sequence throughout the sequence it has one throughout the sequence then if you look at the denominator the denominator is just um increased by a multiple of two so it's like two goes two one two 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 four two three six two four eight so we have two so for the denominator as multiples of two so therefore an increase and increase by n increase by n so it has multiples of two and increase by n so therefore i can write it as two n so therefore our a n should be that of the numerator divided by the denominator so the numerator as i said is just one throughout and the denominator should just be two n four n equals one two three four five now when i insert one year half half when i insert two year half one fourth when i insert three year as one seat four half one eight then it goes on so basically this is the sequence yeah so you have to check whether the sequence is ap or gp if none none is ap or gp then you have to look at just make some analysis with the numerator and the denominator and then you get it so thank you very much and if this is your first time on this channel please subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video is posted and okay so meet you for another section okay bye and also hit the like button